Hello everyone, just a little update here on some photo workflow stuff. We've now got price lists. So what this means is that you can offer different sort of promotions and discounts to your clients by a session by session basis so that you can be a bit more flexible in what you're charging people. Uh, so first of all, you've got standard. So this is your default kind of retouch price um, that if you don't assi assign a price list to a gallery, this will be what everyone gets charged for any extra images. But what we can also now do is we can do buy x get y free which is a pretty simple buy two get one free or buy five get the sixth free sort of thing um, and that means that after anyone's free allowance within their gallery that every time say if you're doing a buy two get one free every time they had three images to their shopping cart one of them would become free um, and then you've also got price variations which is what I've used on this one where you, this is the title that you just give it for your reference and then you can say after your free allowance, the first three images will cost £24 and then the cost will be £18 after that. And you can leave a little message here which will get shown in the cart to clients to explain what discount they're going to get as they start to build up items into the cart. Um, and how you apply that to a session is, if we come to, to one of these, go to Edit Details. And then under price lists, you can select price reductions. So hopefully now when she's in her cart, she'll see that she can make a saving with the extra images that she orders. Um, and just to show you under profile, that's where this price list um, tab is. We've also now got databases as well. So for some of you that maybe want to use the information through the booking system um, with like the financial details that you're getting with deposits and total session costs etc you could easily download that from download sessions into a CSV and then put it in your spreadsheet your Excel whatever um, and get an overview of some figures download orders a similar sort of thing and download clients might be useful if you want to put a CSV of your clients into a MailChimp or something like that um, so you've got that information there uh, that's it for now and I hope you enjoy those little updates